In all my travels, I have never seen anything like the lip plates the Surrey women wear. There's no circumcision here, but girls above a certain age have their lower incisors knocked out and their bottom lip pierced and stretched until it can hold a clay plate. As a result, women speak slightly differently to men. No one is really sure why the Suri do this. One theory is that it was started to discourage slavers from stealing their women. Nabala and her neighbour Dongale are making spare plates as they are fragile and often break. What age were you when you had your first plate put in? Though the origin of lip plates is uncertain, their function is not. The size of the plate determines a woman's value in cows when she gets married. So, because Nabala's lip can hold a plate this big, Bargulu had to give her family 60 cows when they got married. Only the Suri and one other tribe in the area wear lip plates. Some girls are beginning to realise just how unusual the custom is, and a few are now refusing to go along with it. As the Suri become more outward looking, I wonder how long lip plates will last. Nonetheless, many young girls in Regia seem eager to get theirs. I often see them with branches in their mouths, practicing for the day when their lips will be stretched and they will be ready for marriage. <laughs> 